Mm-hmm. Hey, Mom. Hi, sweetie. How was school? Fine, I guess. Is there something wrong? No. Don't tell me no. You're crying for no reason? I'm not crying. It's allergies. I think I'm allergic to something. Maria, come sit down by me and tell me what's going on. Do I have to tell you everything? Yes, you do. I'm your mother. <sighs> have a seat. No. Tell me what's wrong. I just had to wash today, okay? Well, what happened? My boyfriend broke up with me. Your boyfriend broke up with you, honey? Isn't that what I just said? Yes. He broke up with me for another girl. Oh, really? Is that all you could say is really? Well, don't mind me asking, but who did he break up with you because of the girl? Huh? What girl did he break you up with you for? That's the worst part. My friend Julie. Is Julie gonna go out with him? Mom, stop acting like a teenager. Honey, I'm not trying to act like a teenager. I'm trying to be relatable. Well, don't. You're scaring me. I'm sorry, honey. Let's start over. Is your friend Julie, is she going, gonna go out with this guy? Yeah. Her and I had a horrible fight about it. Honey, I'm sorry. Yeah. Can I go to my room now? Of course, honey. If you want, I can come by. I can stop by later to talk to you. Stop by. Honey, I'm just trying to comfort you. I'm sorry, Mom. I would love to talk, but not right now. I just want to... I just want to go to my room and just chill out. Do you have homework? Yeah, at least I'll have that to focus on. Okay. If you want, I could come check on you and we can talk later. Okay. Hey. Hey. How was school? I'd rather not talk about school. Is Julie going to come over and hang out with you like you guys planned to? Uh, Julie and I aren't talking. Why? Forget it. You're too young. You'll never understand. You say I, you always say I won't understand things. But I'm ten years old and I'm not ten months old. You can talk to me. Thanks, but I just want to be left alone. Hey, whatever. Do you want to tell me what's wrong? Just leave me alone. I'm not going to leave you alone until you tell me what's bothering you. It's a teenage girl thing. You wouldn't understand. I wish people would stop saying that I wouldn't understand things. I don't have to be a teenager to know that my big sister is upset. I don't mind that you know I'm upset. I just don't want to tell you why I'm upset. Well, how come you and Julie aren't speaking? You're not going to leave me alone until I tell you, are you? No. Lexi, this isn't funny. I just... Why have you left alone? Please, just leave me alone. Fine, I'll leave you alone. I mean, I'm sure that your problem would get solved by you sitting on your bed crying. I hate when you're right. Yeah, I know. But you'll get over it, because I often am. <sighs> okay. Julie and I aren't speaking because my boyfriend broke up with me. Well, okay, but why would Julie be mad at you for that? Julie's not mad at me. I'm mad at her. How come? Because my boyfriend broke up with me so that he can go out with her. Is Julie going to go out with him? Yeah, she said that she had always had a crush on him for years before we moved here. So I thought you and Julie were best friends. I thought so, too. We are. What? What? Julie? Yeah, it's me. Hey, Julie. Hey, can you have a minute alone with your sister, please? 
anything you say to Maria you could say in front of me. I don't think so. Please. I really want some time alone with your sister. Fine. But I got my eye and my ears on you. <clears throat> oh my gosh, your sister's adorable sometimes. What are you doing here? I came over because I feel really bad about our fight. Oh, you do, do you? Yeah. And your ex-boyfriend, he asked me to go to the dance on Friday. Did you come over here just to torture me? No. I came over to let you know what's going on. I don't need to know what's going on with you and with you and Jake, okay? You guys are going out. He's your boyfriend now, so... If you let me finish what I'm going to say, you'll know that I turned him down. I don't want to hit... What? I told him I wasn't interested in him. But I thought you were interested in him. Well, yeah, I've always had a crush on him. But he broke your heart, and I don't want to be part of that. Gee, as long as you're thinking of, my, of me, I am thinking of you. I really want to go to the dance with Jake. Well, then why aren't you? Because you're my friend. You're more important to me than any guy. Even Jake. You mean it? Yes. And I should have realized that a lot sooner. And I'm sorry. So you're really not going to the dance with him? I'm really not going with him. He's not worth our friendship. I gotta go. Julie, sit down. I'm really glad you're not going to the dance with Jake. Yeah, you know, you and I can go with each other. Uh, isn't that gonna be kind of weird? I meant as friends, I don't wanna, well, you know. <laughs> I know, I'm just torturing you. <laughs> so, what do you think? Are we going to be okay? We are. I'm just really upset that Jake broke up with me. I'm upset too. He didn't know what he lost. Thanks. Well, look, I have to. I have to get home. I stopped by on my way home from basketball practice. But if you want, I can call you later. I'd like that. Julie. Yeah. Thanks. I'll call you tonight. I am so mad, I don't even know what to say to myself. Sweetie, you heard what Julie said. She's not going to the dance with Jake. She shouldn't even have thought about going to the dance with Jake. Hey guys. Hi, sweetie. How are you feeling? Better than I was. Yeah. Well, honey, I... I know you're upset, so I figured maybe I could take the family out to dinner tonight. Thanks, but I really don't feel like going out in public right now. Sweetie, you can't hide in your room forever. I'm not talking about hiding, I just... Yeah, would you rather stay in our room feeling sorry for yourself, or do you want to embrace the breakup? Embrace the breakup? You're such a drama queen. Well, one of us has to be. Uh, Lexi, honey, why don't you go and get ready to leave? I want to have a moment alone with your sister. I'm out of here. Thank you. Sit down, honey. Sweetie, are you sure you're going to be okay? Well, I guess maybe it would be better for me to be around my family and out of the house and everything. I'm sorry I've been such a downer. Honey, you don't have to apologize. I'd probably react the same way. I know, but I'm not used to rejection. I know you're not, honey. But as you get older, you're gonna be facing more and more rejection. Thanks a lot. Honey, I didn't mean it that way. I just meant that I'll always be here to talk and your sister will always be there for you. And I'm glad you and Julie made up. Yeah, me too. I'm still a little upset that Julie even considered going to the dance with Jake, but I'm not as mad at her as I was before. 
Good, because you know what? What? Jake is the one who blew it, not you. You're a beautiful girl, inside and out. All you have to do is show the world how wonderful you are. I'll be okay. All right, go get ready to leave. Meet You and Lexi meet me at the car in 10 minutes. Okay. Thanks, Mom.